Hello everybody, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use replay buffer to save clips very easily. Um, and I think it's really the best way to do it if you don't wanna use any of these overlays and things that can affect your performance. If you wanna follow along, but don't have Streamlabs desktop installed, I'll leave a link in the description that you can check out uh, to download Streamlabs desktop for free. So the first thing I'd recommend when you're setting this up is to open up your settings and then go over to your um, output and then recording and you want to check your recording path this is going to be where your recorded videos save including the re replay buffer clips so make sure that you just know where that is and you can always change it here if you would like as you can tell i have it going to my hard drive which is my d drive um, in a folder called recordings and then i made another folder called streamlabs so that whenever i record on streamlabs that's the folder it's always going to go into um, and this also applies to the replay buffer which we're going to set up now so up here um, under the advanced output mode, of course, it might look a little bit different if you're on simple, but we're on advanced. You should be able to see replay buffer. So we're just going to click that. And it's very, very simple to set up. All you need to do is make sure this is check marked um, so that it is enabled. And then you have to set your maximum replay time in seconds. So this is basically the time that it's actually going to save the video from. Um, and what I do is I set a hotkey. So just I'll show you that real quick. Um, go to your hotkey here and you should find save replay. So I have mine set to my home button on my keypad on my keyboard. So that means whenever I want to clip something, all I have to do is hit that home button and it'll immediately save in that file. So you can set that to whatever you like um, and it works really, really great. But now back to the replay buffer tab. Now this maximum replay time, I like 90 seconds I found works good for me and whatever I'm trying to clip. That gives me a minute and a half um, to save whenever I hit the button, it's gonna save the previous minute and a half to that folder immediately as a MP4. So if you want, you could up this as much as like five minutes or two minutes or three minutes or whatever. Um, just keep in mind that you have to enter the seconds amount. Um, you could also lower it to like 30 seconds. Um, but for me, I find 90 seconds is a sweet spot. I think if you did want to do two minutes at 120 uh, seconds would be good as well. But I feel like you don't want to be recording too much um if you're using this for purpose of clipping just because then you might as well just be recording you know a regular video the whole time and then um because really this is supposed to help you um keep from having to edit so much and go back and find clips in videos um you can also do both of these simultaneously so keep that in mind you can be recording a video um with the replay buffer on so while you're recording you know your entire podcast or your entire gameplay or whatever you're recording um you're gonna be able to also hit the replay buffer and save certain clips based on this time as well at the same time, which can be really, really efficient uh, for content creation. And once you have this enabled, there's one last thing you need to make sure you do, and that is come down to the bottom right and click start replay buffer. If you don't click this, replay buffers are not gonna actually start and work. So all you gotta do is click that and then it should show this stop uh, icon, which then you know it's on. It also gives you a save replay button right here. If you don't wanna use the hotkey, you can click that as well. It'll do the same thing. But I like the hotkey because when I'm in a game or whatever, I can just easily just take my hand off the controller, or the keyboard, touch the home button um, is what I have it set to, and then it's just gonna save it. So for example, I'm going to turn on the replay buffer on right now, which I just had to turn it on again because I had turned it off. So I'm not even recording a full 90 seconds. So in this case, whenever I hit the save button or home button on my uh, keyboard, it's going to save just however long I've had it on since it hasn't even been 90 seconds. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the save button here. You can see it's loading and then it's already saved. So now if I open up my folder, there it is. It uh, it saved the replay. That's how you set up replay buffer in Streamlabs desktop. Again, I'll leave a link to Streamlabs desktop if you don't want to download it in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.